Yeah, and, you know, another exciting game for us. I think, you know, we've won three ACC games. They've all come down to the last play, so this was no different. Um, we always like to make it interesting, I guess. We're sponsors of the uh, ACC network, you know, trying to help those guys out a little bit. But, uh, but first of all, I just want to, you know, I want to thank our fans that came out to, today. We, we all, you know, saw the storm kind of brewing. There was going to build up to this, to this game, knowing that um, it was probably going to rain. And it ended up holding off for most of the day, you know, until right there at the end when we really needed some rain. And uh, but but really thankful for our fans that showed up. They were loud. They were into it all the way to the end there. And um, I'm really thankful for that. Um, and, and really proud of our guys. I'm just proud of our team, how how they continue to fight and continue to, you know, to, to play for each other and play together. Um, even when sometimes things don't go right, you know, in the second quarter, we're backed up in the minus 10. I felt like the whole quarter. And never could get out of there. And, um, you know, but nobody hung their heads. We came in, we're down seven at halftime, and, um, you know, had a good game plan of coming back out in the second half. And, um, you know, I thought our defense played their best game they've played this year. Um, the guys were flying all over the place. Uh, we knew we had to contain Perkins. He's an outstanding player. Um, they did a good job with that for the most part and, um, and created a turnover whenever when they were driving the score. And so just a, just a great job by our Coach Brown, our defensive staff, and then our players throughout the whole week of, of how they, you know, took that game plan and, and really meld, uh, gelled uh, great together with um, with that. And so, uh, you know, and, I, and it took it takes all three phases. Uh, you know, I mean, Mason King's punt down to the one yard on tremendous tremendous punt and cover by our guys. Um, and then the, the offense there in the second half of, of really running out that clock and getting another touchdown that really, you know, really sealed the game going up two scores right there. So, um, you know, again, just – you know, obviously pumped about the win. Uh, it's hard to win football games, and um, you know to have three wins at ACC is just incredible. Coach, in the the first half when you decided to go ahead and pull Mikhail and put in Evan Conley, kind of what was your thought process with that? Because you went back to Mikhail after uh, the the second quarter. Uh, what what was kind of going through your mind? What the decision making? Just give an explanation on that. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we've done it every game, you know, so. This, this game was not any different, you know, probably a little unfair for, for Evan to get put in. We're, we're backed up the whole second quarter. You know, you really couldn't do anything offensively because you don't want to, you know, chance it too much when you're backed up like that. And, you know, so probably could put him at a disadvantage with it, you know. And, and Malik played well. You know, you come back out in the second half, Malik's playing well, and um, you just leave him in there. So, I mean, you know, there's not there's not a – there's no – you know, agenda for who's playing. I mean, we're trying to, we're trying to play both of them because we think they both can help us win, and, and they have. You know, and, and so, um, you know, we'll, we'll play the guy who we think can help us win and move the football. I know earlier in the week you had said that neither one of them had really done something that kind of separated themselves mm -hmm. to make it to where one guy's going to play. Has McHill done that at this point now that you think? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know that it's a, a big separation. You know, I think, um, you know, there's so many things that probably, you know, to the naked eye they don't see what's going on behind the scenes and how we practice and how um, – you know, we, we go out there and play, and then what play we got called, and did we execute it or not? You know, sometimes we don't execute them right, but sometimes they work. You know, and, and so we, you know, we want we want all our guys to play mistake free and and to you know to play well. But I thought he played great, Malik. You know, the thing that was negative, we we held the ball and got sacked a few times. I mean, and that's that's been playing us all year, just holding the ball back there. Once you get over about three seconds, you got to get rid of the football. And particularly on two drives when we're in field goal range, we get sacked on third down. It knocks us out of field goal range, but two times. And so, in tight ball games, you got to you know you got to throw the ball away. And so we you know again learn from it and and, and try to continue to grow. You're down 14-7 halftime. You outscored them 21-0 until they got that last touchdown and, and really dominated them on the ground. What adjustments did you guys make in the second half? Yeah, we made some adjustments in the running game. Um, particularly when there's some formations. I mean, we're running some of our same plays, but the way they line up to a certain formations were a little bit different. Um, and, and we hit a few of those plays in, in the second half and, and got in a rhythm. Uh, you know, if we can get in a rhythm and, and keep them on their toes a little bit, um, then, then we feel like we're in a great spot. And, and Hawkins was running hard, you know, and he hit a few of those up the middle uh, plays um, because they were really running for our stretch plays, you know, and then, and then he, we were able to, you know, hit right up in the middle. And now it's one-on-one -on -one to safety. He does a good job making those guys miss. And, you know, Hawkins, another, another great game for him. Ran hard in the second half. But we knew we had to run the football. You know, we knew they were a good defense. I mean, I think they were 11th ranked defense in the country coming in. And um, But as long as our defense is playing like that, you know, we feel like we got a great chance, you know, to continue to stay in the game plan. Now, you don't have to alter your game plan because the defense is playing good. Coach, if I remember right, it was after the BC game when you said every ACC game is going to be like this. What makes this team so capable of winning these games? Because the three wins you have this month have all been like that. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, number one, I don't think we're good enough to go out and blow teams out. I think that's number one. I think, you know, we have to fight and claw for everything we get. You know, that's why every yard we get, we're, you know, we're not sliding. We're trying to get it. You know, I mean, that's that's why we are on offensively. And then defensively, um, you know, you, again, you're, you're trying to call the, the right – Coach Brown's trying to call the right defense for every scenario. We're trying to – you know, you almost feel like you got to just, you know, make the right call every single time in order to give our kids the best chance to win football games. And so – you know, we're, that, that we're, we're a scrappy bunch, you know, and we're playing for each other. And, I, and sometimes you're going to win games like this. And believe me, I, I would much rather win by three touchdowns, four touchdowns. That'd be awesome. You know, we're trying. <laughs> I mean, you know, but, but the way the games go sometimes and the flow of the game determines decisions that are made throughout the game. And so it, it's just the way it's been going for us. And, and, and we're playing some good teams. I mean, it's, you know, he's got some great coaching staff over there and they've built that team. And, um, that's a huge win for us. I, we got a lot of respect for that team right there. That team was picked to win their side of the ACC, and coming in this game, they're still, were, you know, picked to win that side of the ACC. So, um, you know, you take a look at Clemson, who's a little bit better than everybody else, and then you look at the rest of the ACC. I mean, it's it's chaos. It's you know, anybody can win. Um, it comes down to the team that has the best preparation throughout the week, and then whose who's guys show up on game day. Defense continues to come up with some big plays for you guys. Chandler Jones, that huge interception there at the end of the first half. How big was that for you guys, just in terms of momentum? That was huge. The thing about last week when Clemson hit that touchdown, you mm -hmm. know, um, it, was a, it was a one touchdown game going into the halftime, and they hit, you know, throw it up to the back of the end zone. Same scenario could have unfolded today, and Chandler with a huge pick. You know, we were able to get the ball back, and you know, and then really just get going to halftime. But um, that was a great momentum getter for us. And, um, you know, I was, you know, right before halftime and right after halftime are two huge momentum spots in games where if you can create positive plays for yourself, then you give yourself an opportunity to win. So, so yeah, that was a huge pick. I think the ball's a little bit high there and great interception on his part. Uh, just building off the defense in, in the second, I think the fourth quarter, they were kind of driving down a score. I think it was, I had it written as Kane Pass, Kuzi Whitlow, and DJ Robinson, like three, stuffed them three times in a row. Yep. How big was that sequence in terms of, I guess, getting the ball back and stopping them from tying the game? Yeah, that was huge. You know, that was huge mm -hmm. right there. You know, and, and fourth quarter, we have we hadn't been playing great. You know, giving up a lot of points in the fourth quarter our last two weeks. Uh, you know, 28 at Wake Forest and 21 at Clemson. And, and so today we gave up seven, you know, which is unfortunate. They only hit two fourth down plays on that last drive. Incredible throw and catch on really on the, the second one. But, um, you know, we got to win the fourth quarter. You know, if you win those fourth quarters, then you got an opportunity to win the game. We won it today. You know, it's, we were 14 to 7 in the fourth quarter, we won by seven. So, I mean, fourth quarters are huge, and how we finish is huge. We talk about it all the time about how you're going to finish in, in life and in football. And, and so, tonight, these guys, that's what they were talking about in the locker room at halftime. We got to go finish, and they, they were able to do that. Coach, you just mentioned that, how they played in the fourth quarter. So, Especially when Jamie was running in that last touchdown, mm -hmm. the coaches had a little bit of emotion, oh, yeah. had to piss off. You know, as a coach, how rewarding is it to watch the guy, you could say, almost grow up before yeah. your eyes and win because in that situation, you know, could have won either. That was a huge drive. We needed that. You know, you're up seven, uh, the clock's running down. Um, you know, we got the ball back, I think it was five and a half minutes or something like that. And you, you know, you, four minute offense comes into play. You want to you melt the clock. Well, first play, we took a shot. You know, one on one with Dez outside, we get a PI call, you know, so we get 15 yards. And then, after from that point forward, we're just trying to get that clock going and get yards. And I tell you what ends up happening: you start, you get a, a play, and you get you get momentum, and the offensive line starts feeling it, you know, and then the back starts feeling it. Hawkins, and the next thing you know, you're you're taking off chunk plays, and um, you end up getting down there, and, and you're melting clock, but you're also getting first downs, you know. And then we're able to score a touchdown. So then you just feel good about it. I mean, I, you know that to me, I mean, that's how you win championships at the end of football in fourth quarters, and you take a drive and you go down and you run the football down. They and they, guess what? They know you're going to run. You know, they knew we were going to run it, and you're still able to do that on 11th ranked defense in the country. That's 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 impressive by our offense, and I'm so proud of those guys um, up front and our, our tight ends, our receivers, our running, all those guys just buying into what we're doing and offensively and um, and forcing their will. That's what it comes down to. And then you score, and um, you're going you're going to celebrate. It, it's, it, that's what I mean. You got to celebrate those moments when when everything you're working for happens, and um, that's why we do this. That's why that's that's, that's the fun. You know, and um, we're going to celebrate those for sure. I got your question for you, Scott. The yeah. first one in the first half, you guys decided to go. I mean, you showed that you're willing to be aggressive on fourth downs uh, throughout the yep. year. Uh, fourth and 14, you decided to go through it. Yep. What's your top problem? Yeah, we, we was we were on the plus. Uh, well, we took a sack, number one. I mean, that, you know, we were in field goal range. And so now I think we're on the 36, 35, the 36 maybe. It's going to be like a 50. I think that was going to be a 53-yard field goal. So, um you know, 
thinking about kicking it, trying it, and then, but then, you know, I was like, well, you know, I don't know if we can do that. So let, let's just go for it. So we had our guys out there. We called the vertical route. We're thinking we'll throw it up to Dez on the outside. The safety rolled over. You know, we ended up taking another sack. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, in fourth down, you want to throw the football and at least give our guys an opportunity because you may get pass interference. And so it's kind of that no man's land. You're, you're, you're on the 35 yard line. And I mean, I wish it was fourth and four or five. I felt a lot better when it's fourth and 13. It's a little hard to get that. But, um, but you know, I also felt good about our defense. You know, they were playing well. So you, so you, you go for it and, hey, Put the ball down defense. Let's go stop them. Right. And uh, another question for you, Coach. Back to the QB situation. Yeah. What does Malik have to do to become the guy to really to really create that separation? <laughs> like, what, what's he got to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, they're, they're both playing, to, on our, our minds, they're both playing solid football. I mean, Evan was ACC quarterback of the week at Wake Forest. You know, it was just that was a week or two ago, you know. Um, so they both can play. I, I, I love both of them. I, you know, I, you know, they're both they're both probably going to play here the next month. You know, you'll probably ask that question again. You know? um, <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong. yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, but listen, at our quarterback position, we're going to play the guy that we think at that point in time is going to give us the best chance to win football games, first downs and touchdowns. That's the bottom line. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. JB, uh, um, obviously with the sun, it's probably banged up a little bit. Yeah, it. How, I guess, how confident, obviously you're pretty confident in what he can do, but 28 carries for him, yeah. another 130 some yards. Yeah. Is, is that what you expected? Uh, he hasn't really been a workhorse. No, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, we had a bye week next week, so we, we can give him a little <laughs> bit more carries. He can rest this coming week. You know, I mean, we'd love to, in a perfect world, 20 carries, and then Hassan get 15. That'd be a perfect world. I've, I've said that before. And Hassan still dinged up from last week. I was, I was just happy he played tonight. I think he had four carries tonight. So um, so usually, you know, if you take those 28 carries and knock off, you know, eight of them, he's at 20, and now Hassan's going to be right there where we need to be. But, um, you know, but he's a workhorse. He loves it. You know, Hawkins loves it. Like that last drive, he was feeling it, you know. And that as a running back, they sometimes they get in those grooves, you know, and, and, and then they just start feeling it. They start seeing it. And they start running like a horse, and he was tonight. I mean, I, I'm so proud of him. You know, he's a guy. He's a guy who never says a word, just comes to work every day. And uh, he's strong. You know, he's not real big. He's you know, 185, 190 pounds, but he runs like he's a 210 pound back, and it, and it's hard to tackle. You guys have, you guys have always been the one game at a time. Yep. We obviously have the bye week, but the next win you guys get makes you bowl eligible. Mm -hmm. Have you? I don't know. I imagine you haven't talked about that yet, but oh, is that, yeah. come, that, that will that come up at all in the next few weeks? No, I mean, I, you know, it's the elephant in the room. We all know it, and we'll 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 probably mention that this week. That hey, you know, we all know it, so it's really not out there. But I'm also telling them that you don't focus on bowl eligibility. You focus on our next opponent. Who do we play? Miami. Miami. You focus on Miami, <laughs> right? So so next week, that's all our focus is Miami, and then obviously the next week before we play them. You know, you go try to go beat Miami. We don't try to go get bowl eligible. Because if you focus on that, you're not going to get it. You know, any one of these teams can beat us that we play. You know, so we got to focus everything we have on Miami. And you hope at the end of the season that what you've done is good enough to warrant a nice bowl. All right. Can I speak one?